Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Leah back again with another video. In today's video, as you can see from the title, it's just my annual Why You Should Do Crochet Hair All 2021. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you know I do this video every year since 2019. I did it 2019, I did it 2020, and now I'm doing my 2021, convincing you of why you need to be on board with crochet hair. Now, if you have followed my previous videos, you know I come on here typically every year with crochet hair in. Doesn't it make sense to try to convince you to try crochet hair whilst wearing crochet hair? Isn't that the idea? But no, 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 not this year. I decided to switch it up this year and try to convince you to try crochet hair whilst wearing my real hair actually out. Let me do a turnaround so you guys can see what my real hair looks like. So this is my actual hair. No pieces added. Me with my silk brush that I got a week ago. I'm, I'm so happy that it's holding on strong because I have been seven years natural and my hair isn't that heat trained because I have been doing crochet hair for four years. My hair is pretty much used to being braided up but I decided to film today's convincing video whilst wearing my real hair to kind of encourage you if you are on a path of not just trying crochet hair to cover your real hair you're trying crochet hair to grow your real hair to get length retention and all that today's video I'm going to tell you about six reasons why you need to be on board with the crochet hair I want to say trend but it's not even a trend for me it's a lifestyle it's been four years of constantly coming on here and trying and reviewing crochet hair for you guys and I want to tell you guys why I feel like you know it's good for your actual hair I know a lot of times you know we see these protective styles and we never know what's going on up under that person's scalp. We don't know how their hair is thriving. We see them review things, but it's like, but is it helping? And I wanna share with you guys how I feel like it is helping me. So reason number one why you need to be on board with crochet hair is for the simple fact that it is a protective style. And what I mean when I say protective style is it is protecting your real hair. A lot of times people don't put the love into their real hair when it's, you know, covered up. It's, I don't want to deal with this mess. I don't want to have to get silk presses. I, I'm not a big fan of silk presses. This is my first silk press in probably professional silk press in about a year and a half. So it's been a while since I silk pressed my hair, but you know, sometimes you get that itch and desire to see the drop, but it's about protecting your hair, protecting your hair from the daily manipulation that sometimes can come. The daily kind of brushing, combing, running tools through it, straightening, you know, pressing, whatever you're doing on a daily basis. Crochet hair is a way to take a few weeks of a break from doing that on a daily occurrence. Now, I made a video probably about six months ago on how I feel like the four years, I've had my channel for four years, the four years of presenting crochet hair content and wearing it has affected the growth of my hair. And I said in that video, I think the way I've been doing it, I've been a sole crochet hair content creator that's all I've been about I've taken out a hair on Saturday installed a hair on Sunday but came on here and preached to you guys take breaks and my hair was suffering because I was not taking breaks when I say try this I know in the last few years that I've made this video people have interpreted the title to mean I'm on a 365 crochet hair challenge meaning I try nothing but crochet hair when I say why you should try crochet hair all 2021 or 2020 or 2019 people took that as try that and nothing else. I urge you guys, it's a great protective style, but definitely take your breaks. I think that's what kind of halted my retention. My hair was growing, but I wasn't retaining because I wasn't taking breaks. I wasn't switching up styles. And that's something I'm going to do in 2021. So you guys who watch me for the back-to-back -back crochet hair content, I'm here to let you know your girl got to take some time in between her styles. She got to take some time to let her hair breathe and then enter into it. I can't go back to the Saturday, Sunday because I felt like I needed to produce content. I need to be a YouTube. I have to bring them the videos back to back to back. Doing that halted the retention of my hair. So I'll definitely say protective style, great for growth, great for retention, but take some breaks, take some variety in between your styles if you do crochet. But I think crochet hair is an amazing protective style. And that's one reason why you need to be on this train. Number two, the maintenance of it. It's so low maintenance. 2020 was an interesting year for us with all the changes, a lot more Zoom calls, a lot more WebExes. We use the platform WebEx. So we have a lot 
lot more WebExes weekly. I mean, every single week I have at least one where it's, this is a camera on situation. I say it's so low maintenance that I don't even feel like I need to wake up in the morning, maybe gel my edges down. Because the camera quality ain't like the camera quality of my Canon G7X. It's a different kind of camera quality. So even still on my camera, on my Zoom cameras, I look like I'm so well put together and my edges ain't laid. And, and so my hair got a little bit of frizz in it. But the camera ain't picking that up. It's so low maintenance if you are looking for a style that you really do not have to put effort into. The last thing I do in the morning is worry about my hair. Most days I don't even worry about my hair. Most days, even if I don't put any edge control on, I'm still putting like a headband on, kind of jazzying up the situation. So maybe my little front ain't looking too, too crazy, but it's so low maintenance for weeks upon weeks if you choose the right hair. This year I made a no maintenance, zero maintenance crochet hair video ranking the hair that I think are so no maintenance. I'll link that up above. Not every hair I review on this channel is low maintenance though. That's what my channel is about. It's about seeing what's low to no maintenance. I am not a fan of high maintenance. That's not where I thrive at. I'm pretty clear about it, but I try a wide variety of hair to see where it fits into the low to no to medium maintenance or high maintenance category. That's what you get from my platform. So if you're looking for a good four, five, six week wear for your Zooms, your Microsoft Teams, your WebEx meetings, and you're looking for a hair that's really going to stand the test of time of weeks of wear where you don't have to do any maintenance, I think crochet hair is where it's at. With this, you know, all I have to do is unwrap my hair in the morning, but it's not going to look like like this I'm hoping I can get another week of wear out of it but I know it's not gonna look like this at week three I might have to be a ponytail girl at that point but week three is not gonna look the same as opposed to if you choose like a free trust water wave free trust beach curl it will look the same week three four five and six and going back to point number two with it being so low maintenance the time management the time savings that you get with this again I wake up the last thing I care about or putting any effort into is my hair Hair. You've seen my routine if you watch my vlogs. I wake up, wash my face, walk my dog, log on to my computer. I make my coffee, then log on to my computer. Where was the hair manipulation at? Now, if it's a high maintenance hair, yeah, I'm gonna probably have to spend a little time in the morning. But if it's a no maintenance hair, no, let's take the scarf off and then it's go. There's time savings. A lot of people who watch my videos are married, have children, or overall just generally have busy lives and they don't have or want to spend a lot of time in the morning doing all that. And the makeup sometimes is what takes the time. And we want to put our efforts into things that do take up a lot of time. Makeup, making breakfast for children, getting children up in the morning. These things take time. We don't want to spend all that time on our own actual hair. So time savings is an amazing thing that comes with trying crochet hair. Number four, versatility. And I say this and a lot of people are always like, versatility with crochet hair, girl no ma'am there's no versatility you are looking the same for six weeks it's not even like the curls drop or anything it's like literally if you wear free trust water wave you're looking like free trust water wave if you wear harlem 125 chemo soft dread you're looking like that weeks upon weeks upon weeks no i look like that for weeks upon weeks upon weeks you don't have to if you're a diy you can switch every two weeks i have people who watch my videos and say girl three weeks max is me and then i'm on to the next style i'm like yo y'all better than me now again i have a channel i have a platform where i I present to you guys over weeks of wear. I could be a content creator where I wear hair for one day and come back the next day. I have 30, 31 videos a month for you guys if I switch styles every single day, but that's not what my channel is about, is bringing you a long wear with my hair. You guys don't have to wear your hair as long as I do. You can switch up in two weeks and have some versatility. If you want a 30 color hair, put a 30 color hair in. If you want 1B the next week, go with 1B the next week. You can switch up. You can be as versatile as you want to. You can have ocean wave, kind of a wave pattern you can have a more lock style you can have a braided style you can have straight hair you can have wavy hair you can have you know all this in different weeks if you want to with the versatility that comes with crochet hair I've known in the past I have used the same braid pattern for two different styles so I didn't even have to rebraid my hair I had that Zuri Congo curl in for unfortunately only three days because that hair was a hot mess on me I just took that hair out put another hair on top of that and I was a whole different person just a couple of days later so again there there is versatility in this style for you to play with your hair, play with colors in a way where you don't have to do it to your real hair. I wanted to dye my real hair. I dyed my real hair. If you watched the vlog, you saw uh, my stylist actually dyed it. I don't want to take no credit for this. My stylist dyed my hair for me because I wanted, you know, a little bit of color, a little bit of versatility, but you don't have to manipulate. You can keep your basic hair color and try other hair colors if you want that variety. So again, it's a good way to play with lengths, color, curl definition.
condition and all that without having to do it to your actual hair. So it does provide you versatility in that sense. Now five, I think this is my tip that's gonna always make these videos and it's the reason I have this channel, the reason why I get to talk to you guys all the time is travel. Any trips I go on out of the country to a beach destination, to a non-beach destination, I'm going to have crochet hair in. Crochet is amazing for travel. Now I know 2020 outside clothes. Well, not for all of us, cause child, I've been seeing a lot of people out in these Tulum, Mexico and Puerto Rico streets. But for some of us, for uh, some of us who may have like me underlying health issues, outside has been really restrictive to us. And so we haven't got to travel as much, you know? I've, I was so bummed I had a cruise planned in May, I had to cancel that cruise. I was bummed, but also in a sense, like I wasn't going on a cruise during this time. I was gonna, you know, have a crochet hair in. I started this channel because uh, I was going on a cruise. I was going on a cruise. I needed a style. I was trying to rack my brain. My friend had crochet hair in. I was like, oh, is that is that going to work for water? Okay, okay, I'm going to try it. And so I tried it and then I turned on the camera because I wanted to share with you guys, hey, this is a thing. Like, y'all sleep on this. And I continue to urge people, if you have a trip plan, I could go on a trip with this situation, but there's a lot of variability in this. There's a lot that could happen. Don't let it rain all of a sudden. I mean, I don't even have to go out the country. Go to somebody's Miami where you're walking down the street one minute and then it rains out of nowhere the next minute and then it's sunny skies and 30 minutes later this hair ain't gonna hold up in those type of situations crochet hair will crochet hair will go through the rain with you you ain't had no umbrella it ain't no problem crochet hair is the umbrella for you a lot of hair that they're making now is very fast drying meaning that I tried to hair my hair before my last hair you guys know it was h2o incorporated so it had those fibers that were perfect for water situations and I can honestly say I hated that hair the overall curl pattern hated it but the fibers were so resilient that it got wet it was dry within I don't know less than 10 minutes less than 10 minutes I was sitting there like nothing had happened so travel situations again doesn't have to be your water situation I could go to somebody's Paris and I would still want to wear crochet hair because again going back to time savings you're on a trip you want a trip and you want to enjoy the trip you don't want to be stuck in a room okay I gotta fix my hair because I'm gonna take some Eiffel Tower photos and my hair gotta be on point I don't have those worries I don't have those worries no worries at all it took me a little minute this morning to get ready for this my do-rag was causing some creases in my hair so I had to put a little you know flat iron to it I had to put my edges down I had to be meticulous and make sure every hair was kind of in its place not so when I have a crochet hair in so again that is one thing that is amazing about crochet hair. It is perfect for your travels. And last but not least, the reason why you need to try it is its affordability. It's affordable. It's so affordable. Like, if you're going somewhere and you're paying extremely high amounts for your crochet braids, you need to reevaluate who you go to. Unless they do the most fantastic job. And I've seen some stylists do some amazing jobs. And I'm like... If I wanted that job, I would pay for that job. But it's so affordable relative to even like your silk blowouts, your silk presses. My silk press probably costs more than it would cost me to buy some hair and get somebody to braid my hair down. I know in the Charlotte region, we're roughly about, I've seen this posted places. I've never professionally had my crochet braids done in Charlotte, but I've seen people charge anywhere from $55 to at the high end, 124 a crochet install. That's amazing when you're talking about a hair that's only what, $5.99, $6.99, $7.99 a pack. You're spending what, maybe $30 to $40 on the hair itself to get it installed. Some stylists even have their own hair that they like to use in house and they factor that into the price as well. So they still keep you somewhere roughly under 140. Amazing, amazing in terms of the affordability. And as somebody here who's sitting here like, my 2021 goal is to be in a good place to buy a house. That is my 2021 goal is home ownership. That is what my eye is set on. That's what I'm trying to do. So I'm trying to be more streamlined with my purchasing decision, more streamlined with my spending habits. Crochet hair, crochet hair, I mean, it saves me so much money because I don't even have to pay anybody to do it. But if you, again, are somebody who is trying to be, you know, tighter with it for the pocketbooks, go with crochet in 2021 and see how much you save comparably to your previous years. I don't even like to think back in 2015 before I was on the crochet brace train and all the money I spent. It makes me cry on the inside. And I think about, you know, the, I'd say I spent about 120 including tip a month on hair for some people that's not bad but then times that by 12 months 
I was spending a lot of money on my hair situations. Not no mo. So those are the reasons I feel like you need to be a part of this crochet hair train in 2021. Again, not all the time. Switch it up. Take breaks. This is not a challenge. I got a lot of comments in the past where it's like, I'm on the challenge with you. I never said this was no challenge. This ain't no challenge because you're going to catch a girl not wearing crochet sometimes. But I'm saying, if you have never experienced the joy that crochet braids can bring to you, I urge you to try it in 2021. Now, I hope this video was helpful for you if it was give it a big thumbs up even if it wasn't still give it a big thumbs up it makes me happy over here when i see them thumbs up make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any of this good content that i produce for you and make sure you have that notification bell on because youtube probably in 2021 is going to be even worse with alerting my audience when i have a new video but if you have that bell on it still could be bad. I'm not saying that guarantees anything, but it puts you in a better position to be notified when I post new videos. Make sure that you're following me on Instagram at leelamon89 so you can keep up with my shenanigans in real time. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.